Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how to create a parameter form. So in the last session, I showed you how to create a parameter query. If I just go into design on this one, it's where we use the little square brackets under the field. And when you run that query, it asks you for a name. So now I want to do the same sort of thing, but through a form. So I've got one set up already, this form called Lookup, I'll close this down. So basically I select a person and then I can click this button and it'll run a report for that person. So this Saxton, close that, pick a different person, Jones, run the report, Jones. So I'm using a parameter query that's looking at this information in this form. Now if I look at the query, if I design on this one, go to design, this is what I'm looking at. So the staff ID field is looking at this information. So I've created that name and that's the form name and that's the field name that, uh, that box is, I've named those. So I'm gonna recreate this from scratch. So I'll just close that one down and I'll close this lookup form down and I'll create a new form. So create form design, doesn't need to be attached to any table or query so I just want to do a combo box so my form design combo box I'll just draw a big box now it gives you the wizard so I want to go through the wizard so I want it to look at um, staff surname and then first name that'll do don't not bothered about it being sorted for this it's hiding the ID column that's okay and then I'll leave it as surname like that and I'll go finish. So that's the first thing. Then what I need to do is name this box. So it's called combo over there. So I'll call this um, surname. No, I better not call it surname. I'll call it um, data. So that's called data. I need to save the form. So I'll call the form frm lookup so i know which one it is like so so that's the first step now i need to recreate a query so if i go i'll close this one down create query query design i need to add this table and then just add all the fields and then under the staff id field i need to type forms comes up with this option, I can double click on that, and it puts a square bracket on it. I need an exclamation mark. Now it's asking me for the form, so I've got this coming up, double click. Another exclamation mark, and then it's gonna want the um, field name, which I've called data, so that's it, like so. Now I'll save this as query two, in fact, I won't call it query two, I'll call it QRY form lookup. Okay, to that. So now what should happen? I'll close that. If I open that form lookup and select a name, when I open that query, this one, it just shows me that information because the query is looking at what goes in this box it's on this query so what I need to do is click on that run it so it's looking at the information in there it's giving me Jones now I need to do a report on that so create report gives me the two people close that and just save that yes put RPT in front of that. Obviously you would format this report, click OK, close the query. So now if I select Saxton and then let's have a look at um, running the report. Saxton, I didn't need to run the query. Change the criteria, Jones. Jones. Now, if you want to put a command button on there, you can. So if I go into design, 
didn't need to go into design but I'm going into design just do the command button report operations preview report so you want the query form lookup preview report you could put the name in there but next and then finish save that have a look so it's on Jones does Jones select Saxton does Saxton now obviously these these are all truncated off so you're gonna have to fix that but what's happening is whatever you select there the query this query if I'm going to design is picking up that information so the name and then that is running that query which is giving you the details the report is based on that information and then the button is just running that report so that's how you can create a parameter form to select data and run reports so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one